Salute. Welcome to another episode of Generation X News. I am your host, Street Knowledge, Tony Black. Tap in. As most of y'all might have seen by now, DJ Quick was on his social medias, almost all of them, burning a check that he received from Death Row Records for $109, if I'm not mistaken. And we're going to get into the footage of that shortly. But I just wanted to get my five cents before we even got into the footage itself is that these things happen to producers and writers all the time because it's a roll of the dice to begin with. Don't know what to take up front and what to get on in the back end because you might not even get that much on the back end like you see him getting right there. But that's not to discredit all the great production he has done over the years and haven't received credit for it. But this is the reason why he didn't receive credit for all those songs and all those albums that he produced on over the years. See, as a producer, or even a songwriter, shit, even a ghostwriter, when you sell it outright up front and you take the bag up front, it becomes that person's property. And they do not have to give you writing credit or production credits after the fact unless you negotiate that up front. And this just keeping it a buck, just just keeping it funky. I know when I talk like this, people are always thinking that I'm on the side of the labels. I'm on the side of the industry. No, I'm on the side of doing business and labels. It's not their job to negotiate. What's best for you? It's your job to negotiate what's best for you and understand what you're getting into. And a lot of times that's a hard pill to swallow and something hard to even think of in yourself. Somebody's offering you all this right now. You need this right now. Or do you play the long game and get something on the back end? Or do you take it a half and half? Do you take a little bit up front and get the rest on the back end? Take uh, what's his name from the Lion King? I t- can't think of homie name, but he played an ATL and some other things. He turned down a whole lot of money up front to get money on the back end and only receive like 50 or 100,000 up front and receiving way more over a period of time on the back end. Now, that was a roll of the dice, but he bet it on himself. And sometimes as a artist, you should always bet on yourself. But most importantly, as DJ Quick went down the line of all the projects that he produced on, where he contributed to, salute to him. He deserves credit for that. We all should know that. We all should salute that. But at the end of the day, no matter what I'm saying right now, to all you new artists out there and everybody up and coming, remember that. It's not about the industry being evil. It's not about the industry being devils. It's about you understanding how that entity works. And anything you do, it's about you understanding I'm going into this negotiating what's best for me either right now or what's going to be best for me 10 years from now. Too often than not, we think about right now and not 5, 10, 15 years from now. And this is why you have a lot of situations like this. But y'all not heard enough from me. Let's get into the footage. Salute to y'all and I'll catch y'all next time. This was Generation X News Break. Now here go DJ Quick. I'm real offended by this death row check and this amount. As much work as I did for these sons of bitches, I just feel like the respect factor is just just crazy. There is none. So, to show you what your money means to me, Mr. Death Row Records, all the Tupac shit I did, help with the Dog Pound Project. Devil, you are a bitch. I want my real money and I want all my credits for everything that I did in this industry. All the songs, including Hot In Here, Finelli and Pharrell. I want my credit for that being Get Naked. I want my credit from Kendrick Lamar for, and there's no disrespect to Kendrick. I love you guys, TDE. You guys are awesome. But the fact that y'all left my credit off of King Kunta was crazy. R. Kelly, Home Alone. That's 100% all of my drum sounds, my music, and me playing percussion on it. I want that too. All Eyes on Me is my credit. I want that. In the club, I helped with that record. If I can't do it, it can't be done. 50 Cent, I want that record. I want all my credits. I'm starting to get to a point to where I'm now impatient, 
and I feel disrespected. I'm not going to be the underdog of this music industry anymore. I am to be respected as a king and a lord that I am, a god when it comes to production. I need all of my fucking credit. You're not burning fast enough for me, little check. You're not burning fast enough for me, little death row check. Death row records. Mm -hmm. I took death chances being over there. I could have been killed at that record company. I need all of my fucking credit. Give me my shit while I'm alive. Give me my roses where I can smell them. Real talk. Burn, you bitch, you. Look at it, it won't burn. It's just so disrespectful. Give DJ Quick all this credit. I'm gonna speak to myself in the third party. I need all my fucking credit. 109742, fuck you. Give me my credit. Everything that I've done being the underdog. I'm tired of being the underdog. Enough is a fuck enough. Enough is a fuck enough. I mean that. There you go. Burn, bitch. Burn. Yep. Death Row Records. Mm -hmm. Enough's enough. I want all my credit for everything I did in this industry.